hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking consider a 20 centimeter thick granite wall with a thermal conductivity of 2.79 watts per meter kelvin the temperature of the left surface is held constant at 50 degrees celsius whereas the right face is exposed to a flow of 20 degrees celsius here with a convection heat transfer coefficient of 15 watts per meter square kelvin neglect heat transfer by radiation find the right wall surface temperature and the heat flux through the wall and let's see how we can find it so first of all we know that thermal conductivity is given this is related to Q conductivity and then heat transfer coefficient is given this is related to Q convection and they are saying neglecting the transfer transfer by radiation so we are not going to have radiation so we are only going to have conduction and convection right so let's create the equation for conduction q conduction is given by minus k a delta t over l k is thermal conductivity a is cross sectional area and delta t is going to be t2 minus t1 and the L is going to be the thickness so this is 20 centimeters so that's going to be the L let's go ahead and plug the values minus thermal conductivity is negative 2.79 watts per meter Kelvin times the cross sectional area times delta T so that's going to be T2 minus T1 T2 minus T1 is so T2 T1 is given T2 is what we are trying to find the question is find the right wall surface temperature right so t2 minus t1 is 50 degrees celsius and in the denominator we have the thickness that is 20 centimeter that is same as 0 0.2 meter now let's simplify this one and here if you notice if you turn this one around for example if you put 50 minus t2 we can eliminate this negative sign right if it's t1 minus t2 this negative sign will go away so in that way we can eliminate that one so let's do that right here so here what we are going to have is if you simplify this 2.79 over 0 0.2 that's going to give you 13.95 times we have a right here and i can i'm neglecting the negative sign because i'm going to write in this one in different way like 50 minus T2 right so this negative this negative goes away and we are getting this positive now we have created an equation for conduction now let's go ahead and create equation for convection so Q convection is given by H A delta T here H is going to be heat transfer coefficient A is going to be surface area and delta T is going to be T surface minus T surrounding right T surface is same as T2 T2 is what we are trying to find right and H is given 15 watts per meter square Kelvin 15 watts per meter square Kelvin times the area times Delta T is going to be surface minus surrounding surrounding is given by 22 degrees Celsius right here so this is going to be T2 minus 22 degrees Celsius. 22 degrees Celsius. And that's all we have. Since this heat transfer is through the series, Q convection, conduction and convection are going to be equal. Conduction and convection are going to be equal. So we can equate both of them. And the area is also equal, so it's going to cancel. So that makes everything easier. This is going to be 13.95A times 50 minus T2 is equal to 15A T2 minus 22. So here, area, area cancels, and we are left with this one. And if you solve for T2, that's going to give you 35. 49 degrees Celsius. So this is this is this answers the first question. 
the first question is asking find the right for surface temperature and the heat flux through the wall so we found out that one right here and then now the next question is asking to find heat flux through the wall so to find the heat flux through the wall we use this equation q dot is equal to heat conductivity over a area right and we know that q conductivity equation that is 13.95 times the area times 50 minus t2 over area and this area area cancels and we have left with this one we found out the t2 already so we can plug the value right here so this is going to be 13.95 times 50 minus 35 35.49 degree Celsius right both of them are degree Celsius let's neglect the unit for now and let's find the final answer and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 202.41 watts per meter square so you you may you may ask uh, how did we get meter square under this one right so here how we got this one so here we have watts per meter Kelvin so let's take the units along watts per meter Kelvin area is cancelled already and we have another temperature that's temperature difference can be Kelvin or degree Celsius both of them are going to be same and in the denominator we have meter Kelvin Kelvin cancel and we have watts per meter and another meter that's how we got watts per meter square and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful See you next time.